Today we're going to be talking about mindset and the things that may be stopping you from launching your video podcast. Now, um, hi, how are you doing? All right, so some of you may be thinking like, well, what does mindset have anything to do? It actually has a lot to do because we have beliefs or limiting beliefs that may be stopping us from achieving that of what which we want, which may be launching your video podcast. So let me bring a few slides here that I put together for you. So that way you can see the very first thing is obviously that we're going to be talking about what may be stopping you from launching your video podcast and going right straight into this. So the very first thing that I want you to think about is if you want to do anything, it doesn't necessarily have to be just a video podcast, launching a video podcast, but if you want to achieve something in life, they are preset limiting beliefs that we have adopted in our mind over time, right? It's not like we were born with them, but uh, those limiting beliefs, we have adopted them either because we heard them from somebody else or because we saw something that made us think that that is a reality. And I'm going to give you a few examples. So um, you may think that creating or launching a video podcast is only for people that are already successful, only for famous people. And that is not the case. That is something that you saw it, you thought about it, and now that may be preventing you from achieving what you want to achieve. So that is just one example. Another example may be that you could be thinking, well, launching a video podcast may be you know, too much work or it may take um, too much content creation. And that may be right. I mean, it does take work and it does um, take you know, the creation of the content, but does it really have to take too much time? No, if you have a plan, if you have things uh, or a framework, you can very easily get through it very quickly. So those are things that are limiting beliefs that we have adopted in our minds over time that are actually stopping us from achieving what we want to achieve. Now, think through this. First, we have a thought, we have a belief, something that we think may be that way. And then that converts or translate into our feelings, our sensations. So if we have a feeling that something is bad, that is going to create a fear within us that again is going to prevent us. So that's point number two. So first you have that thought, you have that belief, and that thought and that belief cements inside of you, inside of your brain, and turns into fears. And those fears, again, stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. Now, what you really need to look into here is point number three, which is, well, have you considered the opportunity cost or how much it would cost you if you don't take that leap, if you don't take the next step? So by looking at the opportunity uh, cost and by considering, well, if I don't follow my dreams, if I don't do the things that I want to do, what is that costing me? How is that affecting me? So put it again into context on the things um, related to launching a video podcast. Um, a limiting belief could be, okay, well, it does require work to launch a video podcast and I have to create too much content and well, only famous people can do this right? That's the limiting belief. Then that creates the fear within you and it stops you not from doing it. But then when you look at the um, actual opportunity cost and you say, well, if I don't do it, am I going to be able to grow my audience at the speed that I could? Am I going to be able to reach my audience where they are? Am I going to be able to actually grow my audience and create engagement and convert that audience into paying customers? All those questions you should be asking yourself. And then when you think about it, those are actually becoming your opportunity costs. The things that you're giving up, that you're not achieving or you're not doing due to the fact that you're not taking that leap, you're not taking that step, right? 
Um, hi everyone, hi from Baltimore. Oh my God, I used to live in DC, very close to Baltimore. Thank you everyone for joining. So we're talking about mindset and some of the things that may be stopping you from achieving your goals. And in here in particular, I'm, I'm addressing this in the sense of launching a video podcast. So we talked about those things that are first, the limiting beliefs, that we have adopted over time. We're not born with them. We have adopted them over time. Second, how they convert into fears because what we think in here, it actually translates into how we feel every day. And then third, we talked about um, the opportunity cost or the things that you may not be achieving or reaching by allowing your limiting beliefs to stop you, okay? So we addressed those three. Now, let's go into how can you adopt a winner's mindset so you can overcome all that and so you can end up launching that video podcast. So here are four tips, very actionable tips that I want you to take to make you think through this, okay? So the very first one is, what is your desire state? I want you to think about that and I want you to write it down. Where is it that you see yourself? How do you see this developing? How do you see launching this video podcast? And is your desired state to having that video podcast already launched and growing your audience and actually building connections? If that is it, write it all down, okay? Because working through this is gonna help you really analyze where you are and where you want to be and how to get there, okay? So point number two is, we need to dismantle your limiting beliefs. Why? Because they're just that. A belief is just a thought that we have, again, cemented inside of us and that are preventing us from achieving something. So we need to take a look at those beliefs, knowing that they're limiting beliefs, that they're not allowing us to move forward. Number one, you need to acknowledge those limiting beliefs. Recognize that you have them, but then actually dismantle them. Say, you know what? No, they're not gonna stop me. Why should I allow a, a belief to stop me from achieving what I want to achieve? So honor them because you're recognizing that you're feeling that way, that you're going through that and that you're having those thoughts inside of your mind. However, do not allow them to stay there. You need to take them with grace and just push them away from your life so you can move forward, okay? So that was point number two. And point number three is, what does success look like? So I want you to write down how you feel when you start thinking about, okay, once I launch my video podcast, I'm going to be able to interact with people. Once I launch my video podcast, I'm, I'm going to feel that I'm providing value for my audience, that I'm giving them what they need. Um, once I launch it, you know, success looks like um, really being able to reach everyone everywhere where they are at. So whatever that may be, whatever that success may look like to you, I want you to take the time, write it down on a piece of paper, so that way you can see the future. You can have that vision of what getting there looks like, okay? And then point number four, Again, this is all very actionable. It should take you just a few minutes, but it's so important to be able to get you out of that, you know, uh, limiting belief mindset. So point number four is, who do you need to be to achieve those goals, right? Who do you need to be in the sense of action words? I need to be more consistent. I need to be more secure of myself. I need to be uh, more, um, Consider it with others. I need whatever that may be that you need to be, who you need to become that you're not being today. I want you to think about those action words and write them down as a verb so that way you can very quickly see and identify what are the attributes that you need to adopt to become the person that you want to become that is going to ultimately allow you to achieve your goals. 
So for those of you that just joined, I just want to do a quick refresh. So what we were talking about here is about mindset and what may be stopping you from launching your video podcast. Then we went into three very easy steps that you should follow to identify what is stopping you, to look at and create a list of the limiting beliefs, create a list of those fears because limiting beliefs create fears and then to look at the opportunity cost, what you're missing, what you are not achieving by not actually dismantle, dismantling those beliefs. And then this part, it was actually the more um, precise that you really need to look into because this is what is going to allow you to move all those limiting beliefs from away from your life, that they're going to allow you to start taking steps forward. So again, we said, write down your desire state so that way you have a vision for where you want to go, what you want to achieve. In this case, we were talking about launching a video podcast. Point number two, dismantle your limiting beliefs. That doesn't mean you're going to ignore them. To the contrary, you're going to recognize that you have limiting beliefs. You're going to write them down you're going to see how they're making you feel, okay? Honor them, but then move them away from your life. Tell them, you're not serving me, you're not serving my audience a purpose, so I need to get rid of you, basically. Then imagine what success looks like once you have launched your video podcast. Not only what it looks like, but how it makes you feel. And then last but not least, who do you need to be? Who do you need to become in order to be able to achieve those dreams? So this is actually module number one that I cover within Video Podcast Academy. And the reason being is because starting with you, with how you feel, with your mindset is the most important thing that you can do as a matter of fact for everything in life, not just for launching a video podcast. Because where you are right here is going to determine where you get to, okay? And you have to remember, you have control over your your success, you and only you. So if you're going to allow those fears and those things that you think are true, but they're not really true, then that's going to stop you. So take control of your life, take control of your your mind and make those decisions that, you know, there's certain things that... Mm -mm, they're not helping me. They're not really serving me. And I need to change that in order to be able to achieve what I want to achieve. So I see a few people here. Do you guys have any questions whatsoever about mindset and about how you can actually overcome any mindset blocks so you can end it up successfully launching your video podcast? Let's see, any questions here? Yeah, there was one other very, okay. So how do you work through, okay, how do you work through all these questions? Yes, so basically if you want, I can um, post them again, otherwise you can see it on my IGTV, but the questions here are key. Let me just post them, them again. So first, you write a list of your limiting beliefs. Second, you write a list of your fears. Third, Really look at the opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is what you're missing, what you're not gaining, what you're limiting yourself from obtaining, okay? So those are the questions. And then here, the the second part of the exercise was writing down your desired state so you can mentally get yourself there. Then dismantling those limiting beliefs, meaning write it down. Just after you wrote the limiting beliefs, then write down you know, why are they not true? Why you're not going to accept that anymore? And what success looked like to you, because what success looked like to you is different than what success looked like to me. And then what do you need to, who do you need to be to achieve that? So hopefully that answered that question. You can still anyways, go to my IGTV. I'm going to be posting this after so you can see those questions again. But as you can see guys, um, Mindset is extremely important. You have no idea, no idea how many people have this 
thoughts that they need to look perfect on camera or that they're afraid to be on camera, that they're afraid to um, just give their opinion because somebody else is going to judge them. You really need to look into all those thoughts that you're having and regardless whether it's to launch a video podcast or whatever it is that you want to achieve, this is going to help you get you in the right mindset, get you in the right state of mind so you can achieve anything you want. Believe me, once you go through this, you are going to feel unstoppable, you know, because you're no longer going to think about, you know, it's like, what are other people going to think? It's like, no, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care what other people think as long as you're doing good, the greater good for everyone, right? In, in somebody's opinion of you or what you say, you know, is their opinion, you can respect that. Just, just leave that there. If you don't agree, if you're not on the same page, accept it and recognize it, but you don't have to be on the same page with everyone. So I really hope this was, this was helpful. If it was helpful to you, please leave a comment below, share this video, because really my intent is just to be able to help you move past those fears so you can not only be in front of a camera, but you can do just about anything you want in life. So I hope that was helpful. Mwah. Big kiss and see you next time.